everybody, Conmeister here. Welcome to the Con's Court. Today we have Return of the King of Mukbang. Uh, Meat Canyon had released this about a day ago. It already has 2,926,709 views. Absolutely wild. Um, We've already talked about this man's two steps ahead. Uh, I had already done a reaction to his um, his completely change of weight, his his gigantic uh, experiment. Let's put it that way, uh, of seeing how his viewers would react to his weight change and his two year scheme. So let's go ahead and see what Meat Canyon had cooked up for us. Um, involving uh, this uh, wild news and how deranged and demented he can make this. <laughs> oh. What the heck? Jesus! <laughs> oh, he's shedding his skin. Ugh, all of his fat. Wild. Ugh. That's insane. Oh, he's tearing his man boob off. Or he was. They're like fat wings. <laughs> That's funny. Out of his sea of despair. Oh, Jesus, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that was it? I was expecting a little bit more derangement. Huh. Wow. That was uh, kind of poetic in a way, though, don't you think? It was a very visualized, um, it was a very visualized metaphor um, for him, you know, ripping away, tearing and shredding away his uh, weight and all of his despair and probably depression, I would say. I mean, I'd be very depressed to be that heavy, all that weight wearing me down and you know, to to feel judged continuously, even if you did mean it, mean for that weight to be happening. I mean, who's gonna believe you? You know what I mean? Like, if you if you even people that you know be like, yeah, I'm into this, you'd be like, yeah, sure, bud, because anybody would just mean to be 400 pounds. <laughs> like, who's gonna believe that? You know what I'm saying? That's he had to have a, a form of, he definitely had depression or something else. Um, but, yeah. It's far more believable that he didn't truly mean to lose his weight and that it was more of something that he just kind of fell into so that he could become famous and make money. Maybe he really, really needed money and he saw this as a perfect way to do it. He took people's negativity and their hatred and he went ahead and used it as a weapon. Um... And after a certain point in time, he just kind of got tired of it and was like, you know what, I've gotten big enough. And he just kind of uh, basically allowed himself to go back to the way he was and become healthy again, um, which makes far more sense than him purposefully trying to become as big as he did. I, I don't see that being the case as much. Uh, and if it is, it's highly... Uh, incredible. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. 
that somebody has that much physical and mental and emo emotional control over their own body to be able to endure and deal with um, such said depressions and such said weight and, um, you know, all of those feelings and emotions and, and, and thoughts and all that different stuff and to create such a grotesque person or being simply for a social test, <laughs> you know what I mean? For a test of society to test the people in which watch him. It's very wild. It's a, it's a very interesting thing. I, I kind of take his, his explanation on it with a grain of salt. I, I don't know if that's truly the way it went down. But um, either way, it's very interesting. And nobody will know at the end of the day. Just like nobody knew that he was losing the weight at all. And nobody knew that for those two years or however long he wasn't posting those videos in the present. He, he was posting those videos that he had already made. <clears throat> we'll never know. Um, and I don't think we need to know. I think it's more interesting for us not to know, to go off of what he said. And we can't truly deny it because at the end of the day, it did happen. He lost that weight. You know what I mean? Very interesting. Um, good job, Meat Canyon. Very good. Uh, still kind of grotesque and uh, a little bit of like, Ugh. but at the same time, you know, it, it's it's a it's a good visualization of probably how Nikocado Avocado feels. Anyways, if you all enjoyed my reaction to this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. And as always, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.